My name is Julian Nadesson, CEO of Strato AG. Strato is offering cloud services to consumers and professionals. I think cloud computing is really a matter of trust and you have to gain that trust. And you don't gain that trust just saying, okay, it looks good, it looks fine, the website is nice, so I will outsource everything there. That's not, it's not really the case. First, they will outsource uh, the website, um, not hosting this website on their own server, but by a provider, then the email services, and step by step, move to much more sensible processes and applications. The biggest issue is security concerns. The most critical thing that we have from the customer are the data, and the customer wants to know where the data are located, where are they backup, where are they stored, if someone can accept this data or not. So I think um, these, these are the barriers um, in the adoption of, of the cloud. So what Strato is doing, for example, is there is a leading German institute that is coming in our company, in our data centers, and um, looking after our processes, looking after our, our IT security levels, and certify it every year. And every three years, we have to renew the whole certification. So that's, um, that's kind of measures in order to increase the trust between the providers and, and the customers. Not all of the hosters are going through a certification process, but uh, I think it would be a must for the next years. I think one of the, of the main issue in, in, in the cloud computing industry for the moment is a lack of standards. You don't have any standards. So I think what we need also is a standard over the cloud service providers so you can move from one to another without changing your own, your, your whole environment, your, your whole um, applications. But uh, this is one point you have to check before. When you bring the data to the provider, do you have a way back to get your, your, your data um, in order to move your service again on-premise or move the service to another service provider? What kind of certification what do they have? Or, um, and then ask them the service level agreements they are providing, um, asking them where the data are located, in which data center, uh, where the data are backupped, and how far um, um, system crash can be recovered. It happens, that's, that's normal, everywhere, everybody uh, knows that a um, hard drive could crash that's not an issue. The issue is uh, how fast can you recover your service? First, you have to look at um, less mission critical applications that you have on premise and make the first steps with these kind of uh, less sensible or less mission critical applications with, with a provider. So, first, you have to look for a provider. Um, and then you have to compare. You have to compare the service levels, the kind of product they are offering, the price offerings, of course, and, and choose one provider. And then make the first steps with domain registration, for example, uh, email services, uh, why not hosting your website or your shop or one of your internet-based applications first with a free trial phase, so you can try uh, 30 days or 60 days uh, for free. And if you are convinced by the service, then make the first move there. Then gather um, uh, experience over six months and 12 months, and then make the second step with, uh, say, more mission-critical applications. And step by step, make the, the move into the cloud.